Let's bring in now John Walsh. She's the co-host of In Pursuit. Have you ever seen a two-week pursuit like this from a prison escapee? I have. I've, if you remember years ago, we caught the Texas 7 that escaped from a Texas prison. America's Most Wanted caught them. They were out there for almost a month. It's, it's, it's not usual. They usually grab the guy right away. But every now and creeps like this guy get lucky. And if I was the governor of this state, you know, the governor is the highest ranking person in the state and U.S. senators, too. See Fetterman in this government not say what well, if I was the governor, I'd have the National Guard out there because the job of the governor and senators along with police, is to make society safe. I would double the guys looking for him. Why not the National Guard? And I'd make sure that there was a sniper, a sharpshooter with every 10 or 15 guys, because this guy's going to kill somebody else. He's going to fire from the inside. And I have one question, Jesse. Jesse, Remember the dirtbag with the tattoos that was the watch out for him? Yeah. Why don't they have that guy? Why don't they put him in solitary confinement before he tells them something? He had all the gang tats on there, so you can identify what gang he's with. I'll bet that gang's trying to help him get through those woods, and he's got somebody to pick him up. He wants to go back to Brazil. There's no extradition treaty. I caught the only guy ever extradited from Brazil, a ch ch child molester, serious pedophile. So this guy knows there's no, no extradition from Brazil. But I double the guys looking for him out there because he's already killed two people, one in Brazil. And, and, and he's ruthless, horrible guy, Jesse. You and I have talked about this for years. A guy who can stab his girlfriend 30 times in front of her 7-year-old and 4-year-old. Do you know how many child victims I've talked to that have witnessed that type of stuff? They're damaged for life. They're damaged forever to see what happened to mommy. So sharp Shooters take them down, but there's so many things. I, I don't know why they don't double the police for. I don't know why John Fetterman and the governor don't get together and say, our number one job in this state is to make you the voter that elected me safe, safer. So you've got a serial killer who's now he's armed. You should have twice, three times as many guys holding arms through those woods. Bring in the marshals. Bring in anybody you can get. All of them can shoot. The National Guard can shoot. Bring your sharpshooters in there and save the state of Pennsylvania millions of dollars trying this guy. Yeah, and I'm this, not a vigilante, Jeff. I don't believe, I, don't I, believe I in I agree, but if this guy kills again and the governor and the senators just sat around looking at television, not really caring what was going down in their own neck of the woods, then that's on them because they got to step up the response. Two weeks on the lamb like this, not good. John, thank you so Way much for long. joining us. Long. And I know we'll, I, we'll get this guy eventually, but before he gets anybody else, that's key. Thanks, Jesse. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.